Hey, my name's Jessica. I'm a full-time RVer. I help new and prospecting RVers learn a little bit about the lifestyle, some tips and tricks, and then some of the things I've learned along the way. Today, I'm gonna to be replacing the bathroom faucet in my 2020 R-Pod. I'm gonna be showing a couple options and just some thoughts around um, the installation. is time to replace this sink. This sink has its own issues and uh, it's really hard to get your hands underneath it. And um, I've been doing some research and been watching some other R-Pod owners and they've replaced it and had a success. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I bought two different sinks to be able to test them out um, and just put them in place and give some reviews and thoughts on them. Um, and I will be working through that. This faucet drives me crazy because it's practically impossible to clean in here. And the distance, like nothing, nothing can get back there to clean that. Not that I know this new one will do that, but I have hope for it. And then whenever I go to wash my hands and then turn it off, it's dripping water all through here. And as you can see, it's just created this black. And like this, this black is not gonna come off. Maybe it is, I just didn't maybe need to scrub more. But like for the most part, like it's still black back there. And then it's just so difficult to clean. Um, so I have hopes for this new one. And then also the distance between like you can't even put your hands under there to, to wash your hands and that, that's really pretty poor design. So we'll see if I can fix some of those problems. These are the two sinks that I got to test out. I wanted to try this one because it's a little low profile but then it still has the full one piece and then I wanted to try this one because it was a higher profile where it comes up and over and I think that would be really nice to be able to put my hands fully underneath there but we'll see if the space is too big for the um, new faucet installation. Most important piece to remember as you're working with water and I've learned this a hard way because I've actually done this in a house before and flooded the entire upstairs and it cost thousands and thousands of dollars so just not that that's what this would happen here but always go to the source and turn off the water source before you start working on the water faucet now that i've turned off the water source i'm gonna drain it just so that there's no water pressure or anything inside of here because i don't want to have a water damage accident I looked through all of my owner's manual information and I could not find anything about the sink, so I'm going to do my best to kind of uh, pull things up and use my mechanical skill to try to figure out how to get this apart. <laughs> preparation for if there's a bigger leak and water's coming out so I grab myself a bowl and an extra towel as well. All right, so I loosened those two pipes up so those are loose and then these black pieces were holding the sink down. So now that I've loosened those, this should be able to come right up. You, Yeah, see that's not a very good design. But it is interesting to see that there's two holes. That makes sense for the cold and the hot. So I'm gonna sit here, this is poorly done where they, they didn't even put like seal in between there, it's only up to the sink. So that's gonna need to be fixed and updated as well. I'm gonna spend some time cleaning this and then I'll look at the faucets. All right, let's take a look at our first bathroom faucet, which is a Project Source bathroom faucet, a brushed nickel finish. I got this from Lowe's. I think it was only like 26 bucks, surprisingly, but I think it was on sale. Let's just 
take a look at this first and compare it to um, the other one first. Ooh, I like that. It looks really nice and classy. Definitely a weight difference between the two. I do, do definitely feel that weight difference. Um, I think that they're going to be fine when it comes to the holes. Uh, let's see. I think that this could very, very easily work. Let's um, take a look at it in the faucet. Okay. Let's see, these two holes work nice. Very nice. Ooh, that would be, that's actually thinner. I like that that's thinner so I could actually like have some space back there to actually clean it if I needed to. My fingers can get back there. Still would be probably tight on this side. That's not bad. Let's see about like the water. Surprisingly, it's still, doesn't come out very far, but I still think it comes out a little bit farther than the other one did. Um, it's still better than nothing. Let's just say that. Let's look at the other one. Oh, I do like, this is nice. I mean, I guess it's kind of similar to what the other one was. That's fine. Let's check out the other one. Okay, so this one is a Moen, um, and this one is also a um, uh, nickel finish faucet, also from Lowe's. feels a bit heavier than the other one, but it's nice to know it's all like, ooh, yeah, get that, that's so fancy. All right, let's look at the, the holes look like they will probably also work. Um, it looks thinner, which is quite nice. And um, the distance out of the sink is actually quite a bit. So let's try this out. I think I'm most excited about this one than the other one. Let's see. Ooh. It's definitely tight back there. Everything would need to be sealed first and that would be a bit difficult. It'd be a bit of a pain to clean. At least on the front side, I could clean a little bit easier because there's, it's, there's nothing that's covering it like the other one. But I do love, I love how far that one comes out. That one's actually like, my hands don't have to go way in here. They, uh, the space is so much nicer out here. I really, really like this one. Um, I gotta think about this. I think I'm gonna go with the taller spout one. Uh, but before I do that, we need to go to the store to get some rubber seal for the edge so that it doesn't uh, potentially leak any more on the back end and cause any more water damage. So we're on our way. So we got this white dap simple seal kitchen and bath and we're gonna um, remove this stuff first and then we'll go ahead and seal it. So I'm gonna decide I'm gonna go with this one. I believe that um, caulking is dried enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in its spot. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna try it out with the water first, see how it goes. And then if, it, if I like it, then I'll just stick with it. And then if I'm debating, then I'll try another one. All right, so first I need to put these pieces on and move the blue out of the way.
go turn the water on for me, please? Thank you. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So. even gonna try the other one because to be honest this is really really nice and it goes it comes way out to here where the other water I think came out to here so this is really really nice I think I wanna I'm gonna stick with this one all right so I think that's great we're gonna go with the Moen um water faucet and I'm really happy with it so far um I think that I'm just gonna leave it as is and then go return the other one so thanks for watching everybody make sure that you like comment with any questions if you have any um follow along for any future updates that i make on the 2020 rpod thanks so much